Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up your first bucket server. And there are two ways to go about doing this. If you want a stable release of bucket, then go ahead and go to bucket.org and click the link here on the top, get craft bucket. And there will be a set of instructions and a link right here. And you can download the most recent or the most recent stable version at least, which is currently 1.5.2, um, but Minecraft is on 1.6.2 right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to dl.bucket.org forward slash downloads forward slash craft bucket, and I'll put a link to that in the description. And I'm going to pick um, a beta build. And so I think it was somewhere early August they released this for 1.6.2. It's not necessarily recommended to download beta builds, but I've never really had a problem with any kind of uh, glitches or anything like that. So, I mean, they're, they're relatively safe. And if you want to use the most recent version of Minecraft, that's probably the best way to go about doing it. So I'll go ahead and click the download link right here for that. And I'll save that to my desktop. While that is saving, let's create a folder here where we will put the contents of our server bucket and okay that's done so we'll put that in there and then let's open it up while it's moving over and we want to create a new text document and we want to name that start server and then remove the dot txt and make it dot bat hit enter and then you can hit yes to this and now you have a bat file and you can right click on that and go to edit and that'll open it up in notepad what we want to type here now is the following you want to have this content right here in, in your bat file and what this basically says is that you're going to start the server on a high priority. You're going to allot it um, one gigabyte of RAM. And the file that it's looking for is craft bucket 1.6.2 release1.jar. That's this file right here. If it's named something differently, like let's say we download 1.6.3 in the future, this will say 1.6.3, but this will still say 1.6.2. You want to make sure you change that or won't be able to find the jar file to start the server. Um, so yeah, then we'll go ahead and save that. Close that. And once we're done with that, we can go ahead and double click start server.bat. And this will set up the server for the first time. Okay. So the server now says that it's done, um, so let's go ahead and hop on, make sure everything worked. So, sign in, and we'll click play. And what we need to do is go to Direct Connect since we're hosting the server on the same machine that we're playing on. Local host will be the address that we're going to connect to. So we'll go to Join Server, and there we go. We are on the server. Everything seems to be working. All right, guys. Take care.